What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday, June 22nd. Thanks for tuning in to Schmitty's MLB Picks on Guy Boston Sports. I'm Ethan Schmidt. We got another full stack slate in Major League Baseball. All 30 teams in action. 15 games for us to choose from. I'm coming at you with three of our favorite gameplays. Our Nerfy of the Day and a player prop for the people. To kick off the show today, Today, we have a winner for our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Congrats to Jamal. You will get an officially licensed NBA or MLB jersey of your choosing. A uh, big congratulations to Jamal. He is being reached out to. And uh, yeah, um, Jamal, share with us which jersey you pick. I'm curious. And uh, we appreciate everyone who got their name in the hat. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it was fun. I think uh, we're going to have some uh, Ballers Only giveaways coming up in next. Um, special shout out to our Ballers on the channel. We are so grateful for y'all. We know y'all are giving us that extra support for this grind day in and day out. Much love as always. You can become a ball of for just $2.99 a month. You get a badge next to your name. You get a bunch of exclusive emojis to use right here on YouTube. And like I said, we have ballers only giveaways. And the more ballers we get, guys, the, the more we can do for our ballers. So if you are able to give us that extra support, it goes a long way. And uh, we are very close to 11,000 subscribers. So please subscribe and smash that like button if you've been enjoying Schmitty's MLB picks. And if you're new to the show for the first time, welcome aboard. Happy to have you. Uh, check out some of our awesome Guy Boston Sports merch at GuyBostonSports.com slash store. Rocking the Wazitive hat again here today. And it was a tough day yesterday on my public card. Uh, came out positive on my own. But uh, I had some great reads that hit, but the ones I gave out just were not it uh, going three and four in those. And, uh, you know, that's my fault. It's a constant battle between myself and overthinking. And but today I'm feeling very confident in the slate, you know, confident, cool, calm, collected. And I think uh, we're ready to ride with these picks. I'm ready for a winning positive positive Wednesday you can submit your hashtag ride of the day each and every day in the comments we like to ride with a gameplay from the people or a player prop if I see one that I like as well and uh, just please remember use the hashtag ride of the day if you want to be considered and you're always welcome to ask me about my leads and opinions on any play you'd like to talk about we get back to everyone in the comments here on guy Boston sports our first gameplay of the day we have the toronto blue jays and the chicago white Sox back at it yesterday's game uh, was a wagon wild to the end chicago ends up winning seven to six in extras today's righties uh ross stripling and lucas giolito going uh stripling uh three and two a 3.28 era a 1.07 whip giolito four and three a 4.78 era and a 1.49 whip uh giolito has fallen off a bit here as of late and i think that the blue jays bounce back with a nice win today but i'm going with their total team over four and a half runs for the full game Toronto is 11th in average and tied for seventh in OPS against righties uh, the over seems like a possibility in this one as well but either way I think the Jays can put up five runs even if it's a blowout and finishes like five to one or six to two kind of game and that would save us on missing out on the over and I really like the Blue Jays bouncing back here taking their team total over four and a half runs our second gameplay of the day we have the Philadelphia Phillies at the Texas Rangers and the Rangers got the best of Philly yesterday seven to nothing right-hander Zach Wheeler and John Gray your starters here on Wednesday Wheeler has been a stud in the last month or more for the Phillies six and three a 2.69 ERA about a one whip and John Gray for the Rangers two and three a 4.27 ERA and a 1.2 whip hasn't been terrible but hasn't pitched much at home this season I'm taking in the Phillies on the first five run line. I really like backing Wheeler in this spot, and I seriously doubt that the Phillies offense is going to go scoreless again. I think they get it cooking. 
Bryce Harper's coming off some rest, and uh, I really like the Phillies in the spot to cover the run line in the first five. The Rangers are 23rd in average and 25th in OPS against right-handed pitching this season. The Phillies are also uh, in the top half of the league against righties. Give me the Phillies first five run line. Our final gameplay of the day, we have the Detroit Tigers at the Boston Red Sox, the hometown channel team uh, for the series finale. Uh, Boston has won the last two games, and I do like Boston here again today. But the best play to me, taking the under at eight runs, uh, this line has seen a full run shift uh, from nine to eight, and I think that gives us a decent indication in, uh, that this one should be going under. Uh, Detroit has their guy in lefty Tariq Skubal on the mound, five and four, a 3.13. ERA a 1.08 whip and Boston rolling out Michael Walker is uh, newly emerged as Boston's best pitcher arguably now a uh, five and one a 2.28 ERA a 1.03 whip so Walker has really turned it on here and the first two games of the series cleared the under and the game time weather conditions here on Wednesday are dropping the hitting numbers uh, if you check those out and everything all the numbers are projected to be down so I really see this game being close but could even be a five to one Red Sox win and clear the under for us. So I am taking the under at eight runs in the Boston Detroit uh, series finale. We are switching it up here on Schmitty's MOB picks. We are now taking Yerfies instead of Nerfies. Uh, yes, it's a pick where we think a first inning run will be scored. And it's definitely been better for my sanity here lately, wishing for a run uh, than seeing a nerfy get sent to the sun by a solo home run or a pitcher just doing terrible and walking batters. But today I am riding with a Yerfi in Nationals Orioles. Really just got a gut feeling on this one, guys. Two mediocre pitchers in the uh, Nats are the fit, uh, fourth best team in first inning runs a game. And I just really have a feeling that uh, Corbin or Lyles is going to give up a first inning run um, with the uh, two mediocre pitchers here today. So uh, taking the Yerfi in Nationals Orioles. Our player prop of the day. We are back on one of our main guys taking Paul Goldschmidt over one and a half total bases at minus 110 on DraftKings. I think the Cardinals are going to put up some runs in general today, but the Brewers starter Eric Lauer is a lefty and Goldie has been mashing lefties all season long. Uh, he's hitting 449 against left-handed pitching, a 796 slugging number and over a 1.3 OPS. Uh, uh, just unreal from Goldie here. Uh, the veteran is coming off a day of rest, and I think it serves him right. So we are taking his over one and a half total bases. Let's ride. That's it for Schmidty's MLB picks here on Wednesday. Please like, subscribe, share this video with your friends or anyone who enjoys baseball or just loves sports betting in general. We are trying to reach everyone with the best picks and bets each and every day here on Guy Boston Sports. Be sure to follow me at the Ethan Schmidt on Twitter. It's where I post the final plays each and every day for Schmidt's MLB picks. And you can also keep up with my latest works in sports media. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Uh, feel free to join our Discord. We have a lot of great discussion in there, bouncing plays uh, off each other back and forth and, uh, you know, coming up with the best card of the day. And you can always reach out to me on Twitter or in the comments or on the Discord. I'm, I'm usually getting back to every everyone so please feel free to do so uh, let's have another winning positive positive day here on wednesday i think we have big things in store for us here today uh and setting us up nicely for the rest of the week i'm ethan schmidt we'll see you tomorrow peace out everyone